Holy Name Translation Syriac Clementine Recognitions and Homilies Flat Earth Creation by Hidden Mountain 127 In the Beginning, when Ieue Elim, Yahweh Elohim, made Ishmim, the heavens, and Eadrits, the earth, as one house, the shadow that was from the bodies of the world darkened the things therein but it was swallowed up as nothing by the light that shone according to the will of Ieue Elim. And thereafter while the darkness was regarded as night, the light was called day. And in the midst of the waters therein, he stretched forth Riksho, firmament, atmosphere, Hebrew age 7549 made the still waters into the likeness of an enclosure, called them Ishmim, the heavens, and honored them with an ancient name. He therefore immediately divided into two domains the expanded dwelling, all of which was one house. But the cause for its division was this, so that the higher domain would be a dwelling for angels and that which was beneath would be given to human beings. And thereafter the waters that remained below, the Riksho, by the will of the overseer, came to rest in the crevices of Eadrits and were gathered together. In this way the dry land appeared and the gathering of the waters was called seas, and Eadrits, the land, that appeared brought forth plants and streams, and a flow of rivers was made to appear over the mountains throughout their extremities so that for future human beings a satisfying habitation could be found, and thus each one of them would be able to make therein whatever he willed it to be I say then, either good or bad. 128 And after these things Ieue Elim adorned Ishmim, the heavens, with stars and made the sun and the moon to shine, one in the night and the other in the day, even while signifying the things that exist, those that are yet to be, those that are temporal, and those that are eternal. Indeed, for this reason they came into being, even for signs, for times, and for seasons, and they are seen by everyone, but they are only understood by the observant. And thereafter, Ieue Elim ordered the living beings that proceed from Eadrits, the earth, and from the waters, and he made paradise, which he called the place of restorations. And after these things Ieue Elim made the Adam, human being, for whose sake Ieue prepared all things, whose image is ancient. For Adam's sake everything received grace to exist and he was allotted these things for Adam's service and habitation. 129 Therefore, after everything was completed in Ishmim, the heavens, in Eadrits, the earth, and in the seas, human beings multiplied. And it was the eighth generation, just men were living in an angelic likeness. Because of the beauty of women, they, the angels, rejected their first habitation Ishmim, the heavens, and without discrimination had intercourse, and they learned to do everything without discernment. And those who successively came into existence also accepted to do greater wickedness. They even coaxed all people some through fear and some through assurance so that they might sin against the Maker of all. From those in the ninth generation were begotten Nephiel, the giants, Gibbor, Ish Hebrew for men, of shame, Hebrew word for renowned, of old, and they did not have the feet of dragons as the fables of the Greeks say, but they were Nephiel, giants, gigantic and similar to great mountains in the size of their bodies. The bones of them, as a sign for the sake of unbelief, are laid up in place after place in the locations I mentioned to you at another time. The just providence of Eiue brought the flood upon them, and Eadrits, the earth, the world was cleansed by the flood. 
Everything was becoming chaotic and the host of the wicked was being destroyed. But there was found in that time a just one whose name was Noach, Noah. He was rescued in an ark with three of his sons and their wives, and after the subsiding of the waters, he went up with the beasts that were with him, and with seeds he went out and dwelled in Eadrath, the world. 130 Then in the twelfth generation, by the blessing with which Eiue blessed them, they began to multiply and received the first commandment not to taste blood, for even on account of this did the flood occur. Then in the thirteenth generation, the intermediate of Noach, Noah's, sons had already dishonored his father, and his seed was accursed to servitude, Kham, Ham. And after his older brother, Shem, Hebrew for Shem, took by lot part of the middle of the land, wherein the region of Judea is, and then the third, Yepheth, Japheth, took the eastern part, also, to him the western part fell by lot. Then in the fourteenth generation, a man from the accursed seed, Kham, Ham, first erected an altar for the sake of sorcery and assigned the honor of blood to demons. Then in the fifteenth generation, human beings, Ish Hebrew for men, first did homage to fire and made idols. Until then one language was held, Hebrew, the beloved of Iue. Then in the sixteenth generation, they proceeded from the east and came into regions according to the allotments of their fathers, and they called those regions by their names. Then in the seventeenth generation, Nimrod, Nimrod, the first reigned in Babylon, built a city, and departed from there to Persia and taught them to do homage to fire. 131 Then in the eighteenth generation, cities with walls were erected and they prepared legions, arms, judges, and laws as they willed. They built shrines and did homage to their nobles as if to gods. Then in the nineteenth generation, the sons of the children of the one accursed, Kham, Ham, after the flood deserted the border of their land, for they took by allotment the western portion, expelled those to whom fell the middle part eastward to. Persia, and dwelled in the places of those who were exiled. Then in the twentieth generation, because of wicked association, a son had already died before his father by suicide. 